Best practice for access permission to users for Apache Tomcat. I have a Linux box being shared by various developers. They want to deploy their war files in Apache Tomcat which in shared location, slash op slash Tomcat. Since they don't have sudo access, I have to change the folder permission for Tomcat directory. Directory structure under slash op slash Tomcat is. What are the best practices in above situation? Most suitable access permission to user? For time being, I have changed permission to 777 to web ops and logs. Thanks. I do it this way. We put the Tomcat user as the owner of the folder of Tomcat. Users cannot modify the configuration of Tomcat. Users can modify the other folders. Activate the sticky bit for new files keep permissions defined. Finally, we add the Tomcat group we want users who can use the Tomcat. The non-Tomcat settings section of Tomcat security how to provides useful information on this topic. See here. Tomcat 7, this URL. Tomcat 8, this URL. Tomcat 9, this URL. Tomcat should not be run under the root user. Create a dedicated user for the Tomcat process and provide that user with the minimum necessary permissions for the operating system. For example, it should not be possible to log on remotely using the Tomcat user. File permissions should also be suitably restricted. Taking the Tomcat instances at the ASF as an example, where auto deployment is disabled and web applications are deployed as exploded directories, the standard configuration is to have all Tomcat files owned by root with group Tomcat and whilst owner has read slash write privileges, group only has read and world has no permissions. The exceptions are the logs, temp and work directory that are owned by the Tomcat user rather than root. This means that even if an attacker compromises the Tomcat process, they can't change the Tomcat configuration, deploy new web applications or modify existing web applications. The Tomcat process runs with the mask of 007 to maintain these permissions. You need to follow the principle of least privilege. The server, probably www data, but you'll need to check, needs to be able to read most of the files, let's say all, and write in the logs only. The web developers are allowed to write where they need. Set the sticky bit on the directory so that only the owner of a file can delete it. In practice you need to create a group, for instance webdev, and add all developers and the server to it, user mod off webdev and lt, user and gt, or user mod a webdev and lt, user and gt, depending on your Linux flavor. Charm all the files and directory to the web server user, Trod all directories to 500, and all files to 400, except in bin where the executables need to be 500 as well. Grant write permissions on slash op slash tomcat to the group, that would be 570, and set the sticky bit so that they can remove only the files they own, chart 1570. Grant the server write permission to the logs, and read permissions to the developers, or 740 for the folder, or 640 for the files, the sticky bit is probably not necessary, and never granted to a file, only the folders, as it has a different meaning, 
execute with the permissions of the owner when the file is executable. Then you'll need to grant write permissions, 1570, to webdev on some of the directories. You'll need some trial and error here, and it could be application dependent. Those folders must be 1570, while some others can be 0500. The developers will need to grant read access on their files to the group so the server can read them, that's 640, and also execute on the directories, that's 750. I think it Intrapedro's accepted answer is a good one. It's worth pointing out that using a package installer can save a lot of headaches, at least for Tomcat 7 on Ubuntu, apt-get install Tomcat 7 produces a more standard set of installation directories R. Slash etc. Slash Tomcat 7 for configuration files. Slash var slash lib slash Tomcat 7 for core libraries and slash user slash share slash Tomcat 7 for shared resources. All permissions are set up correctly with the principle of least privilege, such that adding users to the group Tomcat 7 is sufficient to allow deployment. Further, the Tomcat server is set up as a service that can be started and stopped as others, for example, sudo service Tomcat start, or alternatively, slash etc slash init.d slash Tomcat start. Tomcat starts on reboot automatically, and there's a restart command. I am sure there's an equivalent yum package for rule slash CentOS users. And yes, there's a homebrew installer for local OS installations. If you're having problems, there's a nice utility in slash user slash share slash bin called configdis.sh that reports if there are permissions or other errors. Note, there's an open bug that suggests adding some symbolic links. We're still running Ubuntu Trusty 14.04. For those running more recent versions, I believe there's a Tomcat 8 apt get repo. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.